All right, you guys stay tuned. This first scene in the video is about 13 minutes of me, me riding down in Bostick. Uh, rained and poured on me. I had to get under my tarp to get out of the rain. There wasn't no protection. I couldn't find a boxcar at the time. But stay tuned in about 13, 14 minutes of this video, I introduce you to my good friend Rube Clayton. He used to ride freight trains in the 80s. Wait till you see his awesome railroad tattoos all up and down both arms. You guys are going to get an awesome kick out of this. So stay tuned. All right, I'm finally riding my, my good friend Gib Campbell. You guys got to meet him. He's one of a kind like Larry. Uh, I have a friend that works for the CSS Railroad. Uh, he said uh, they got a train in the siding about 45 minutes up north of here waiting for uh, clearance to get out. So that gives me about an hour to get down around the corner to the catch out. That gives me plenty of time. I got my bucket, my water. And I brought a light backpack this time that I probably got 18 pounds in it. It's not going to be bad weather, so let me get walking. And I, it's a southbound train, so I get to get across the Appalachian Mountains during the daytime, I hope. Be a pretty ride. All right, let me get walking. All right, I'm sitting up here at that last signal box where their yard goes together on the north end. And here is that scrap yard. And the two main lines that feed into the yard. And there's Dom Tar Paper Company. You know, I used to hide behind that uh, signal box there, but it's just two out in the view right there. But most of the crews know me, but I don't want to take that chance. Someone new, tattletailing. And I see some loaded paper cars down there for Dom Tar. And I've got a really good hiding spot. Yeah, that cold train came by, then he switched and pushed back into Eastman. So he won't be back for a while. And you can't even tell my hiding spot. This is where I've been hiding lately. Had to clear out some tripping hazard. But got everything really well hid. And I'm wearing my shoestring shirt. Kind of add to it. But anyway, boy, I am smiling ear to ear. Oh, good Lord. Uh, if I had a choice of going to heaven or being right here, man, I'd choose here over any day. Because this is my heaven. Oh, my Lordy. Just being right here without a train is just so awesomely lovely. And the ground is pretty dry, covered with deciduous leaves. And I got up a lot of the plastic bottles so they wouldn't show up as an eyesore and attract attention. But anyway, that southbound GM, that General Manifest jump train, should be coming in within an hour. And he'll stop and work, so I got time enough to run up. Well, walk up and get me a good car to ride on. Let's hope it's not too late. By the time we get through Irwin and get into the mountains, it'll be still daylight some. But if not, I'll end up in Bostick, and I'll just spend the night over there and then head back this way up into Kentucky during the daytime and get off in Shelbyville. I hadn't got off in Shelbyville crew change yet, but there's an abandoned yard there that's really wonderful. It's also got an abandoned coal mine that runs out west and dead ends at an old abandoned mine. We'll go check out too when we're in Shelbyville if I don't sleep through that crew change like I usually do. But anyway, there's the doo-doo plant 
the poo poo feces burning plant right here so it smells awfully lovely so anyone with the Febreze or the hurricane force wind or Lysol or tell the truth saw anything that smells better than this but I can deal with it I've dealt with worse all right guys gonna catch me a choo choo woo yeah, as you can tell, I'm carrying a real light pack compared to my normal. All I got is my tarp and my mat and my uh, summer fall bed roll, one pair of pants, socks, and a shirt in that entire backpack. Two gallons of water and my bucket with just a day's worth of food and my fur hat and gloves and that's about it i probably got all together maybe 35 pounds i got maybe 18 pounds in that backpack which really makes a heck of a difference so that bucket weighs oh two-thirds of what that backpack weighs two-thirds more so i got a light load i still can't catch on the fly unless i was a fly not jeff goldblum either Goldbloom or whatever his name is. Jeff Gold bloomed into a fly. Anyway, just to kind of give you an idea one more time, it's kind of woodsy back here and hidden really well. The only thing I don't like about winter is because of the foliage is gone and there's nothing really to hide you. But that's bad if you're in Atlanta or Birmingham or Meridian in one of the big yards you're trying to stay hid in. But here the crews know me give me thumbs up throw me water uh so i'm gonna do good here i just hope that train comes for dark if not i'll ride back tomorrow after a good night's sleep by a campfire and ride back across the appalachian mountains tomorrow during the daytime hopefully and look at this smile oh my god i feel like i won the powerball lottery <sighs> i did I did win the Powerball lottery. Oh my God. Yeah, I want to give it a shout out to Gib and Larry and a bunch of other people. I, the list of names is so long, but you guys know who you are. List down in the comments and I'll check mark and I'll put yes. That's you. I meant to give a shout out to. I just don't have a list long enough to read from to give shout outs to. But anyway, I still love you guys. I don't mean I don't. All right, there he is. This is my train, I hope. Let me get ready, packed up and ready to get it. Bunch of good rides, come on, slow down. Don't be a short, short train. Let me get packed up, start walking. Well, we're fixing to go. We just hook back up. Let's just hope we don't take anything else off further up. We're still not aired up. Now we're aired up. That pissing will go in now. Keep your eye on it. Okay. 
Then we're getting up to 90 pounds per square inch and the brakes will release. See, it's okay to walk across a train if that piston's sticking out of it. If it's like that, don't even dare try it. That train will pull any second. Got cold, I had to put my hat on. Boy, I hope nobody comes walking by. They should be okay with me riding, they know me here, but I don't want to take that chance. At least I can hide behind that wall there. See how low I can get. But anyway, I better shut the camera off. after sitting two hours. There's the old Clinchfield depot. Larry's down there watching me depart. I gotta watch for the rail fan. Oh, thank God. Uh, there might be enough light left to get to Irwin. That's about 30 minutes from here. Uh, it'll be dark by after Irwin into the mountain, so when I get to Bostick, I'll sleep there in the woods and build a fire and and then catch back during the daytime when it's daylight. Man, I had to pee so bad I had to go out of that hole over there. But as soon as I no more peed, the train pulled. I'm glad it didn't pull and chop my weenie off. There's where the Santa train was. Oh, we got a flat, a good, uh, not flat, a good round wheel. my camera down in case there's any cars. I need to rearrange my elbow on this cushion. camera down that yeah at the end of this track there's a tunnel and a bridge at the same place it'll be light enough by the time we get down there then we it might be light enough for when we go through across that well, chug a viaduct. they ground the track down to, to even it out so it wouldn't be uneven yeah all that out there used to be loading docks just concrete slabs out there 
I camped out there a few times. Larry was watching me depart. So I'm gonna ask him what all we got on the end of this car. See if there's a DPU. So I'm gonna shut the camera off till we get to that tunnel.
snow up there in about two hours. And down below is where me and Larry filmed that wreck they had that day during the Santa train that went across. Check how far we are, are we? There's the trestle. Can't hardly see it. Sycamore tree. But that's it, just that little road. I wish it was an hour earlier. Yeah, that's all she wrote. It's bedtime. Oh crap, I just woke up. I can't tell if this thing came in from the north or south. There's a lot of Canadian grainers This being a good one right here. Man, I got soaked last night. Oh, here comes the car, I gotta ask. Uh, freezing rain all night. In my bedroom, I found a plug door box car and opened it. This train may be going on north. There's a cut on the north end. So I'll just wait and see and get a nap. We'll see. Whew. Cold and damp. Oh man, I'm tired. It rained all night and I just put my tarp over the top of me to keep dry. Somewhat dry. Oh Lord. It's cold. That I think so. Yes, no. Well, quit rain for a little. There's that cut I'm on. About 30 cars long. It's about 35 
we're way up in the mountains. Oh, he got his light off. He'll be sitting there a while. Woo -wee. Man, everything's soaking. My sleeping bag's damp. That tarp had a few holes in it. We must have got an inch of rain. There's that cut, his light's back on. He'll be pulling up here. Boy, if he's a jump train, I'm jumping over and getting on it. No sense, it's three o'clock p.m. now. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed, just in case. Yeah, there's the ethanol train fixing to reverse and go to Charlotte. And that train on the left is my train. Yep, I'm in Bostick. I got my buddy Ramblin' Rube Clayton coming to pick me up from Hendersonville outside Asheville. You can see it's raining and I wasn't about to spend another night in that rain and get sick. As you get older, you just can't handle that anymore here at the yard office. They got a northbound train coming in now. You see the reflector tags on it. Yeah, that's probably him right there. Hello, Ramblin' Rube Clayton here. I'm a good friend of Shoestrings. We've been friends for going on 20 years now. And uh, we came out, I've been hanging out with him today. Come down here by the railroad tracks. And he wanted to show y'all my tattoos. I said, all right, we'll show off my some of my train tattoos. This one here is the me flying cardboard. My friend Tim Webb did that tattoo. I got Rock Island. And you see I got a bunch of old train stuff, some hobo symbols. Terrorist Union is the hobo I, union. I like that MRL one. And then that's Rube on the back. And then I got train stuff back here. I got a tribute to the FTRA. I got some stuff on here. That's my train side right there but yeah i've been friends with shoestring for many years this is all trucking stuff i was a truck driver for 28 years so i got truck logos i got my handcuff key just in case you know <laughs> free, yeah, get out uh, of jail free yeah i came out hung out with him there's probably some old videos that you've seen me in uh me and him and that old toyota i called the tramp mobile and uh during that snow video, in Asheville, me and you and jb beverly and a bunch of them you know we, we went to muddy roots yeah we went to muddy roots festival yeah we've we've been to the train museums and stuff first time i ran i actually met him was down in alabama he'd gotten uh hurt and was in the hospital and i seen he'd posted his in the hospital i ran down there to see him and we got to talking to each other and well, I used to ride freight train back today, not near as much as he has, but uh, he knew some of the same people I knew, you know, some of them old guys, but... Uh, and you rode in the 80s and early 80s, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it's like the mid-80s. Just only, I only did it for about a year and a half. But when I was a kid, I had a friend work for his dad, worked for Norfolk Southern, and we'd go down to this local mill, and we'd load our bicycles up. They had a dock. We'd put our bicycles on there, and we'd ride from there, plumb into Boulevard, we had a good time, but uh, that's when I learned how to spike a door on a boxcar. That was a long time ago, but uh, I'm 54 years old now. I was a teenager back then. But anyways, uh, we thought we'd come out here by the railroad tracks and make a quick video. But... Yeah, and it poured yesterday in Bostick, and I, I, I was like, I had to cover up in my tarp because it was raining and there wasn't no shelter. Right. And I called Rube. I said, man, I'm out of options, man. And I just missed Miss Daryl. Yep. This moniker, I'm gonna tell you, there's guys that ride freight still to this day 
and there's box cars out there that shoestrings rode. And then he'd get on that same box car, it'll be dated like 1990, and he'll put again, and he'll put another date, and he'll put again. How many robos do you know that's rode the same box cars three or four times the whole time they've been riding? <laughs> That's, that's like never going to happen, but you've done it. Yeah, I used to amazing. put my dates on them, but I got in trouble for graffiti for that one time, yeah. which uh, I shouldn't this really worry about it. moniker since like the 80s, 90s, hasn't it? Yeah, that, now the railroad tracks on the side, I didn't start doing that until 99. But yeah. that shoestring and the little loop underneath it, I've always done that since 91. When I was trucking, I know where some of the catch-out spots was, and from time to time, hauling freight and stuff, I'd be in and out near where some of the yards are, and I'd know where the catch-out spot is because I've done it, and I've pulled down and kind of walked down through there, and you see shoestring and wing nut and different people who tagged in, you know. You just you see that stuff. Old Larry Crager down there in, the, in Arizona, he yard creep, that's him, yeah. You see them yard, I know a bunch of us went to Brit. We used to go to Brit, Iowa. And uh, I, I've been up there about three times and I'm tagged in up there. Tell uh, us about some of the old riders you, you, that might ring a bell uh, for the, some was, of these, they like was, Iwegian uh, and- Iwegian, Rick, and Tuck, and Frog, and uh, the, then there's um, um, uh, Zig Zag. Uh, there was Wapahoo Joe. God, there's a whole bunch of them. Iowa Blackie. Iowa Blackie. And, Iowa Blackie. Yeah. and then, of course, they were sidetracking that crowd, you yeah. know. Oh, man. Yeah, that was a I, rough I met bunch. him once. Yeah, that was a rough bunch. But, uh, yeah, there's Dog a Man Tony. Dog Man Tony, yep. Dog Man and Tuck and them, they, they were like goon squad. They they were the rough boys. I got a tribute. Oh, this tattoo here has got a tribute to the FTRA right there in the railroad track lights. And I put, instead of putting numbers on there, I put oh, FTRA. Oh, okay. okay, you're right on. Yeah, that's a tribute. That's a good tribute. That's a tribute. It's like one of these over here. You see these signs like this here. That's kind of like what that is. And I just put a tribute to the FDRA. I was good friends with Tuck and Weege and them. I ain't seen Weege, I read and Wick and them in a long time. That old Iowa Blackie, right little tiny, little teeny tiny. But uh, yeah, it's been many years, but uh, my my good friend Jason Zigzag, he's he's still out and about. He used to ride freight big time. And Wingnut Bill Rose, man, Wingnuts, he rode. He's married and got kids now. And if I'd have told Wingnut years ago that he'd be married and have six kids, he'd look at me like I was crazy. <laughs> but things have changed. Same I, with my videos. Yeah. Two, three years ago, if you'd said you'd be making more than SSI, I'd, I'd flip you off. I will say this, you know, I think shoestring should be Hobo King because anybody that's in this game knows this man's mode, he's rode more freight than anybody I've ever met in my life. And I think shoestring should truly, I mean, everybody considers him the emperor, a number one emperor of the rails. He, he owns them. They ain't nowhere on these tracks that shoestring can't tell you where it goes or what to catch. He's been there, done that. He can write the book. Years ago, I had this thing called a crew change guide, and I come by his place in Sioux City, and he wasn't home, so I slipped it under the door, and I'm like, you know, he don't need that dang thing. He could have wrote that book. But anyway, I just thought I'd holler at him. You know, he's got the good thing going on YouTube, and... Uh, I thought, well, I'll, we'll make come down here to Tracks and make a video because we've been hanging out today. Yeah, and if you ever meet Rube Clayton, he's one of the top two best. I mean, what's that old saying uh, the, about the Tramp family? Oh, yeah, Tramp family. Uh, treat us good, we'll treat you better. Treat us bad, we'll treat you worse. That That's the way <laughs> it should be. Me and Shoestring's been friends forever. There's a lot in common there. Once you've been out here on these rails and you've rode them, you really know what it's like. Yep, what you it's know about. the rules and the you know respect. What's going on, you know. And uh, this man here, he's been riding more than anybody I've known. There's a lot of people that's been out there for a long time, but Mark, he's probably got more miles on the rails than anybody I've ever met. And there's very few people that can say that they started riding freight in '89 and are still riding. Even a three-year hiatus where I was sick, I'm still ahead. Yeah. I'm not bragging or nothing. But Millions of miles on the rails. It's got to be. 
you know, because it's a lifestyle. I remember one time he got this apartment and he was in that apartment and he was trying to kick back, do this and that, you know, he's, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, you know, get off the rails a little bit. And that, that damn apartment had bed bugs in it. And he is pissed. He kept trying to get him to do something. And I finally told him, I was trucking over the road. I said, shoestring, you'd be more comfortable out there riding freight. He said, thank you. And he packed the stuff up and left. Yeah. And you he can't was. get bed bugs said, out here. You don't get bed bugs under a bridge, do you? He uh -uh. goes, nope. R roach your ear. He had, it was so bad that he took dish soap and he was sleeping in the floor instead of in the bed. And he couldn't get rid of them. They were there when he moved in. And he made a daggone perimeter around him so them bed bugs couldn't climb over that soap to get to him. Yeah, it and worked that landlord for a while. wouldn't do nothing. And I says, you know, the hell with an apartment, man. You're more comfortable out there riding freight. He goes, you're absolutely right. Thank you, Rube. Yeah. Next thing you know, he's out there riding freight. I remember when he started his YouTube channel, and he called me one day, and he goes, you know, I put that, I monetized my videos, and I got more videos and posted them. I got a check for $400. That was a long time ago. You know, I was like, that's pretty good, man. But, uh, yeah, uh, I love his channel. I watch it all the time. I went and picked him up uh, yesterday, and we come back over here to his place, and I've been hanging out with him. It's been a while since I've put an eyeball on him, but that's my brother right there. He's my brother. Mine, tonight. too. And I slept from, what time we go to bed about? Shit, it was early in the morning when we crashed. I crashed on the couch, and I think, hell, you you, you crashed out. You slept for probably 10 hours. Yeah, I slept till 2 p.m., and I yeah. ain't ever done that. Man, I thought it was 2 a.m. I had to look at p.m. twice. I was right. like, what the? Yeah, I, I didn't fall asleep till early in the morning because I'm a day sleeper. But uh, he is tired, and he started nodding out on me, and I said, brother, go to bed. I was sitting in his living room looking at all these train books and stuff. These steam tra I'm into steam, steam trains. Love steam trains. And he's got every cotton picking book. I said, that's the first time I've been to this place. But, man, I'm telling you, it's nice. It's like going into a train museum in there. Yeah. But, anyway, it's a nice pad. I'm glad Shoestring's got it because I'm going to tell you something. It's a good fallout when I get many sick. many years... For many years, Shoestring didn't have no place like that. He lived 32 under. Thirty-two years. He lived under a bridge with a bedroll, and that's a fact. And let these cocksuckers know that that make fun of me. Oh, you you got an apartment and merchandise. You can't do that and be uh, a hobo. The thing about it is, yeah, he's a hobo. He's the hobo. He's the A number one hobo. He's been riding freight more than all these pe people out here. But I'm gonna tell you this: he worked for it. He's got a YouTube channel. He's a YouTuber. And that's a real thing, you know. So, yeah, he makes enough money. He don't get rich off of it, but he makes enough money he can have a nice apartment. I mean, he still flies cardboard, you know. But he's good people. He's good people. You ain't going to meet a... There's not too many people out there on the rails that you want to make friends with. The shoestring's a good soul. Well, I appreciate it, Rube. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, getting it's dark. And, <laughs> yeah, usually there's about... Between four and six, there's always one pulls in here, but we yeah, missed out on it today. Of course, it is Monday. Yeah. I thought I thought it was Martin Luther King Day today, but that's next Monday. That's good. That means my uh, my package will go out tomorrow. Yeah, boy, I love these Rockies. Man, man, they work great on them. That railroad ballast. All right, you about ready to get in some more? Yeah, let's get warm. I didn't wear a jacket so I could show everybody the package. All right, man, you did a good job on that interview. That's all right, man. Y'all, uh, y'all keep posted on that on that channel. Keep looking. Uh, if you look up Hobo Shoestring, Rube Clayton, and JB Beverly, you'll see some more videos that we did years ago. Yeah, they're older, about yeah. eight, ten years ago. But yeah, check a long them out. Time ago. Yeah. We're in front of Waffle House and it I snowed. Had little, I had a little old Toyota Corolla, 81 Toyota Corolla. We called it the Tramp Mobile. And me and Shoestring, we ran down to Florida in that thing. And uh, that was back when Shoestring was drinking, but he ain't been drinking in many, many years. Garrett Summerfield. Yeah. We went to see Garrett. Yeah, we're going to see Garrett and all that. Yeah, I ain't seen him or talked to him in five, six years. Yeah, he he kind of went off the bat. Yeah. That Garrett Garrett lives down in Florida now, but anyway, that's that. All right.
That's that's pretty good. Yeah, you can see where the railroad crossing sign says two tracks. And yeah. that tattoo I've got doesn't say track number. It says FTRA. That's just a little tribute to those guys. So, and I'm still in the mood. I didn't get to ride yesterday, so I'm going to probably catch out tomorrow or the next day. So stay, stay tuned. I ain't done yet. I didn't get it out of my system. And we'll end the video now to give you a taste. I'm glad you guys got to meet Rube Clayton. Yes, sir.